Hello everybody, welcome back to some more of the God Emperor series. We are just going to be waiting to end the war with the Vizia until the ticking war score goes up a little bit more. And then I think for the next war I will build some more ships so that we can deal with overseas uh, things. I think that's what we're going to be doing. Alright, so since we're not doing anything, let's maybe start drilling? Where can we hang out? And after that, we will get some rebel busting. Drill. Drill and drill. Beautiful. And after this, what kind of truce terms are we looking at? We got Maywar, which is up in 1607. We have no truce timer with Coruscant, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe that's what we do next. Our manpower is at half, so I do want to let that get up a little bit. We're waiting for the printing press to spread out. Oh. Dang it. That's a problem. Especially since I want this territory. That sucks. I think I may need to fight these. Kind of changes some things. Wow, you're gonna kill them yourself? That's impressive. Oh yeah, can we assim? Oh, we can assimilate them. So we'll be doing that here soon too. Are you gonna win that? You won that. Way to go! I don't really want you to kill those. I'd rather you kill these. I want the Vigia to still have to deal with those. So... Uh, hmm. You know what? Forget the war reps. Forget ending your relation with those. Let me just grab some more territory. Jeez, that's all I can grab? Ay, ay, ay. All right, give me the war reps then. Yeah, okay, so now they are the Vizia Rebellion. So now that is my territory, so I thought they would move automatically, and they are. Whew, cool, all right. Now we're probably gonna need to actually stop drilling because we're gonna need to fight some um, rebel busting. Or do some rebel busting. Oh, I forgot I had a trade embargo on you. Yeah, let's fabricate another claim. Goa. I already have Goa. Hanovara. And I need to revoke embargo. Split you in half. Destroy this fortress. Mothball all of our forts. So have two drilling armies. Now we can Diplo Annex U. Annex Vassal. There we go. 
And revoke embargo on you. Cool. Very cool. Also very cool. All right. Another successful war against the Vizia. They are now smaller. I apparently have a Carabelle out here. Go, my friend. Join the other protection fleet. We can build some more stuff. We'll definitely build those two. And I think we really need, do need to build shipyards at this point. So, wait, shipyards is the right thing, right? Naval force limit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want as many shipyards as we can get, I think, at this point. To raise our naval force limit. Because clearly we're going to need to start worrying about sea travel. And stuff. Eh, overextension. Whatever. Uh, Nasipur? Up there? Really? Golden Era for France. Congratulations, France. Alright, can you... Come up here. I'm gonna have you drill over there. What other spots do we have? That's a... Which is right next door. Okay, cool. That works. We'll split this army in half, drill half of them, and have the other one just kind of sit there and rip a bus. <laughs> More shipyards. So we're going to need to get a uh, transport fleet that can at least transport one of our full armies. So we're going to need 30 of them. Oh, God. Bengal is asking for my help against... Oh, that's an easy war. Yeah, I'll accept. I'm not going to do much, but I'll accept. Oh, hello, Delhi. I guess we're on the same side again. Wait a minute. <laughs> we're on the same side. So what this means, and why I'm laughing, is because now I can declare war on Coruscant, and since I'm in another war where I'm allied to Delhi, Delhi cannot join Coruscant against me. So that means I get to take Coruscant even easier and painlessly and then split their alliance allegiance off with Delhi. Like that. And I don't even need a truce timer with Delhi because they never went to war with me. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. You're no longer drilling. Come up here. You have a mission. You can sit here and drill and deal with the rebellion up here. This other army is going to war against Coruscant. <laughs> Even easier! So I can roll into this war and then I can, um... Oh, wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Stop laughing! No, that's not what we want to do. That's not what we're doing at all. Oh, no, no, no. The whole reason it was to go to war against Delhi is so we can break them off of Bingo. Never mind. I'm crazy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't listen to me, I'm, I'm nuts. I'm forgetting my own plans because I was super excited because I realized I can take Coruscant even easier than before. But that's not what we need. Gosh darn it. Excitement is now cancelled. There's no more excitement. Shit. Man. Alright, just keep drilling. Well, it's a good thing I didn't actually go through with it because that would have been a terrible idea. All right, so that's no longer a problem. Uh, Thata is still a problem. This is Thata, right? Yeah. All right, that should be okay though, I think. Man, I got so excited, I was like, oh shit. And then my brain was like, no, silly, you want to go to war with Delhi. What are you doing? What's the whole point of this? Oh, government reform time. 
Well, I do declare, what can we do? Number of states plus five, not bad. Minimum autonomy in territories minus 10%. Down to 65. But, this one just makes more sense for what we're doing here as a god emperor. We must ensure that the word of our monarch is law in each and every case, and that everyone does their utmost to realize every royal design. And then, plus five states is still good. This is interesting, though. And also very good. But, this is more towards who we are. And again, states is fine. I kind of wish the states was maybe closer to, like, plus eight. But I'll take the plus five. That brings us up to an additional 12 that we can have right now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now what we need to do before we go to War of Coruscant is actually wait for this war to be over. Ugh. And then we need to make sure that Delhi will join it. Don't come after me, man. I don't want to fight. Like, I'm in here with just moral support. Don't actually make me fight you. Oh, they're fighting these guys. Oh, yeah, because they're my vassal. And I didn't um, change their estate type. Shoot. Or their vassal type to a whatever the other one is. Sub, sub tier or something. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I can go up there and kill you. I guess. Shouldn't let my vassal just get destroyed like this. That'd be very mean of me. Let's bring you back and make sure that someone is improving relations with our vassals. There we go. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, you made a mistake, didn't you? Yep, you did. How close are we to embracing institution? 27. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna need to let that one spread out a little bit, huh? Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now this fort is not really that necessary. We'll probably rebuild our fortresses after we take out Delhi. Because, again, I don't need defensive stuff. This one I'm keeping simply because of the choke point aspect of it. I, I like it as a choke point, and it's in the mountains. Which is really good. So it's just like, that's a spot that makes sense. So I'll keep it. All right, are you done coming after my vassal? Are we done with this? Can I come back over here now? No, the comet sighting. No, it's an omen. I am not going to raise our stability because it is more expensive to raise stability when you are overextended. So, plus 40% for overextension and religious unity is inflating that a little bit too. So yeah, I can't hit that button until we core everything. Is that it? Oh, alright. Well... Well, you know what? I'm going to need everybody involved in this war, because we're going to be fighting against Delhi. So it's going to take more than just one army. So at this point, we're going to wait for our cores to finish, rebels to be not an issue, and then we will do our thing. We shall do our thing. I'm going to unmothball you so I can just build some of these. So 
start getting a transport fleet going. Does that mean my shipyards aren't done yet? Because I feel like I should have a much higher... I think... Uh, let's see. Yeah, actually, most of them are done. Huh. Alright, well, we'll build more. That's fine. My admin is so far behind. Like, how's... Uh, let me check the technology level of everybody here. 11, 13, 13. 12, 12, 15. Wow, they have corruption problems going then. 12, 15, 15. 16, 14, 13. I'm 12, 14, 13. Jesus. It's fine. When we embrace the next tech level, or next institution, it's gonna be fine. I just need to start saving up money, I think, to do that. Oh, hey, look, you're gonna fight off your rebels. Way to go. Alright, some of those are now core. Can I uh, state this? Not yet. I want to. Can't do it yet. So at this point, that's probably not going to be a problem. But I'll still wait a little bit. So drill that. How's our army professionalism now? Ooh, well on its way to the next thing. Reduce morale damage taken by reserves. Um, okay. Sure. Three more cores. Start drilling. Keep you there for rebel busting until that's no longer an issue. state these. We'll change their religion, because I think it is a Sunni. Oh, no, these are Hindu, aren't they? Yeah, they are Hindu. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, man. Ghost B4. What am I doing? I honestly probably Ghost B5. Check on our advisors. They're still advising, so that's cool. So have one accepted culture we can do grab. No missions. And now we're gonna be saving them up. I really want that money. So I am sorry. Give me your money. Do I want to change? No, I'm probably just going to stick with Shakti the whole time. That's how we're going to roll. Oh! Built a little too much. Also, our cores are finished. So we need to... Mine they, they built them all in, like, the same spot? Alright, hold on. Jeez. I thought you would separate this, man. There. Get them all done at once. Not stacking six in one place. Either way, someone is going to be going under 40 loyalty. But this also gives me stability cost modifier minus 10%. 
for 20 years. Oh, and all those um, buffs for the stays just went up. So now I can do that. There we go. And you're fine. Haha. -ha. Perfect. Uh, no real reason for me to do that. I've, I, I've been neglecting this button. And yours is so low. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit any of those buttons. All right, so we're up to 1,200. Cool, cool, very cool. Gonna need to wait a whole lot longer. Um, let's go back to speed four. What is my current plans? Rebel factions, not really a thing anymore. So I think it's go to war with Will Delhi even join if I do this at this point? They will. And they're already fighting in another war. So it's going to be easier to take them out. Okay. Okay. Actually, I think I want to try and separate piece out Delhi first. So I'm not going to go after Coruscant until we get them out of the war. So we're going to focus on Delhi. Alright, let's get all of our units in position. Oh, and I wanted to change you, my friend, into... A scootage, that's it. Don't don't get involved in this war. I don't want to have to worry about protecting you. And hopefully this war will give us a lot of the money that we need to grab the institution. Hopefully. for five years. I'll just, I'll take the prestige. Wait, Bengal's in a war? Oh, you're in this war too. Alright, cool. So. Delhi will join. This is perfect. Perfect, I tell you, perfect. Um, we can also do Reconquest again. So this will be cheaper aggressive expansion, cheaper costs for core returns. I'm assuming that's still better. So we'll do a Reconquest, sure. Give a second. There we go. Delhi has now joined in. So we go. We're going to speed three for this. And again, we're not going to take any territories. The only thing we want to do, because we want as low truce timer as possible, is we. Oh man, all their armies are over here. Um. We are going to... Hold on. Only thing we're going to ask of them is to end their relationship with Bengal. With that, the truce timer should be... Probably seven years, I think, instead of five.
and advisor has died. I need the money, so I am not going to get the level three. We'll grab the land maintenance modifier, because it makes our troops cheaper, so we save some money that way. Yeah, for sure, that's what we're grabbing. Because I grabbed it already. Go there. Grab there. Doing a little bit of like a blanket siege type strategy here. I would prefer the generals to take these, but it is what it is. Let them have their fun. Perch up. Now, are they still at war with the other people? Yeah, they are. Cool. So that's still kind of a distraction. Divi the Protector. Yeah, I can't do that. I have to go for the prestige thing. Alright, now you head up there. We'll send these two armies to support in case they come after you. Gain score on Batiana? Probably should locate Batiana. Oh, okay, cool. It's right in my face. They have a solid stream of reinforcements. I probably should have got here sooner. That's fine. Alright, move you back out. that. Actually, you go up there. Just stay where you are. Nassau. Enter their golden era. Congratulations, Nassau. Use all of our new transports. We'll merge them all up there. Perfect. Siege is done. Great. Let's move up. Move up. Move up. <laughs> that was the briefest battle ever. Truce with Maywar has ended. Well, cool. We'll probably vassalize them. those. Oh, Vassal, you tried. You did your best. I love you for it. No, no. 
That was a super aggressive move. It's almost like I have you on aggressive. Hmm. Focus on CJ. <laughs> Let me do the battles. We'll merge up and... Stop them. Oh, here we go. That's even better. Automatically annex Port Bandar. Destroy these fortresses. And we got their troops. Say what? F your troops. Alright. <laughs> that was actually no reason to even do that other than just... In my eyes, their troops are inferior, even though they are exactly the same. They are not corn troops. What do we got out of here? We got three heavies and lights. And more transports. Did that put us over our limit, though? It did. It's fine. I'll get heavies when I'm damn well ready. Whoa, I did not expect them to start winning this. Perhaps we need to leave an army behind now. Right, I think that would be it for Delhi. Can I get them out of the war now? All we are looking for... Yes, we can. So this will give us a truce until 1613. That's perfect. Although I am tempted to get money. would help me embrace institutions uh I, i'm fine with this you know i'm okay with this i will take all of your money uh, no that's it that's it that's it we're done we're done we're done oh, embrace that institution though embrace it oh my god all right so now we take you we take you. Uh, this gives us access to better heavies and better lights. So we're going to need to upgrade our fleet. Then we take you. Combat with infantry fire. We get level four fortresses. And we can do another one of this. More military tactics and morale plus one. Oh my god. Uh, we're being held back by admin again. I can't raise these up any higher, even though I really want to. Oh man, training fields. Better cannon, better combat with, artillery fire and shock, very good. Trade efficiency and range, good. And another manufactory, this time a plantation. Oh man, I need admin. Hostile fort? What? Is this a hostile fort? What? Alright, right, we'll go this way. Okay. Some of you are taking different paths. We're not suffering all that attrition. Are you kidding me? So 
now we're still in a war with Coruscant. I really want to save our admin right now so I can get more levels because I want to open up ideas. <sighs> yeah, sure. But the big thing here is we separated Delhi from Bengal. That is amazing. That's so cool. Uh, so much so that we're fabricating now. For sure. And you know what? I meant not even take that much from Coruscant. Because I want to save my admin points that much. The only point of this war, the main part, was so that we can war against Delhi, not against you guys. Because remember, the overarching goal is me. This is taking me closer to the Ottomans. Not where we want to go. And Russia, even. Now, I doubt they will accept peace. Because, yeah... The war score is in their favor, because the war goal is right there. Which, for some reason, I really don't know why I can't... Here, can I, can I just get military access from you, man? Thank you. What? Occupy by... Oh! Occupy by Khorasan! Even though that's Afghanistan territory, that is a... Khorasan <laughs> fort. Okay. Okay, I'll de... Oh, gosh darn it, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Because I want another avenue of attack into Coruscant here. I need this war to be over as soon as possible. The only thing I want from them is probably money. That's all I'm really looking to get from them. I should have made this the war goal. I wasn't... Well, I mean, in theory, this would have been easy to take. I didn't realize they had this fortress there. Oh, also we have superior unit types. Was it, um... This? Yeah, it was. We don't even have any calves, so it doesn't really matter. You're attacking into me. Alright. Alright. Mountains? It is. I think we'll still be okay. Hey, we converted people. We have the discipline. We are actually lower on morale, but we did win. Okay, cool. I can't believe I have to de-siege an Afghanistan territory. What kind of pathing is this? We'll just wait for this to be done. How about that? Oh my goodness. Oh, take the fort. Take it so I can fight in the mountains and they're the negative. Ah. Yeah, so they have more morale, but we have more tactics and discipline. But we also have a minus two because we're the attackers into a mountain here. Okay, cool. I just want this war over. Alright. Now we can march over there. You can march over there. You can march over there. Let's go there. Perfect. 
So yeah, all I really want from them is money. Cool. Now we can go like up into here. We go into there, maybe here. So let's go there. Start drilling. We've not been keeping up on our drill. Excellent. Gosh, that area gets more taxes. Taxes for everybody. Farmers get taxed. You get taxed. I get taxed. Alright, so we finally got the war gold. Thank goodness. I imagine they have a very low war enthusiasm right now. Can I get war reps? Can I get... How much money are we looking at? 615. We need a little bit more war score, but I think I will do it. So let's keep fighting the good fight. Thirty-five shouldn't be too hard to come by. I want to say they're trying to move around here. They can't move through there, though. Yeah, you got blocked there. take another fort or two we should be fine man these are all mountains this is terrible terrain to fight in. and you're the only one with a siege pit go up so we're looking for a was like 34 percent i think Ah, transport fleet. It's a beautiful thing. Grab two more. I'll say 20 is probably good enough. So yeah, when these two fortresses fall, I think that should be it. Oh man, you went to go after the capital? Oh, you won't have a penalty there. Oh god, you're just getting destroyed. Our vassal has much lower morale and, um, wow. Well, you did your best. It wasn't good enough, but you, you, you did your best. Bohemian Crystal. Bohemia will gain prestige. Price of glass changes. They gain some free tax and production. Alright. Are you going for this? It looks like they're trying to get to here. So I need to get in position to... Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that enough? Perfect. And why not? Mm, I mean, listen. All oh, right, then. Well, that's cool. I guess we'll feed it to them though. What's your state? Okay, no, I don't want that. But. Taking these and feeding them into Sistan. Wait, hold on. I need to be in a situation where I can annex Sistan. 
Right now, I can't. Hmm. I'd have to take Bam and Jask. I could lower the amount of money I grab. I'll feed all this to Sistan, but that's going to cost some rebellions. Um, I mean, the other thing I can do is just eventually go to war with Afghanistan. Which, I don't know, like, why not? Alright. We'll take, uh... Wait, wait. Oh, I already annulled the treaty. Um, wait, you have an alliance again? Right, of course you do. What the hell? Yes, Brain, of course I do. Because it was Delhi and Bengal. Uh, yeah, we don't care about the alliance with Coruscant and Delhi. Although I guess I could end it, just so when I go to war with Delhi, that's one less person I need to worry about. And I know I'm going to go to War Delhi. I'll keep the money, and we'll take one less one of those. And we're still getting war reps. Maybe instead of the war reps, we take that. You're ending that. Okay. I am down with this. And I'm going to feed you. You're going to take those and like it. <laughs> All right. Um yeah, keep building that. Cool. Now we need to get all of our armies back home. And get ready for the war against Delhi. Ooh, truce timers. What are we looking at? Oh yeah, we can go to war with Maywar. Um, I have one more relation slot, so we could vassalize you. Your ally with Congra? What about you guys? Do I still have a true time with you? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I thought the sand was a different color. Huh. I imagine they're going to have some rebel problems. So you know what? Let's be a nice overlord. And we're going to help rebel bust for you. I did kind of force these on you. There we go. Oh, actually, you don't even have that unrest. Are you rebel busting right now? So we're going to need to keep our military access with Afghanistan until we get our army out of there. But we're going to rebel bust for just a little bit. Because they need time to core these. Also... We can almost grab this. Now we can grab that. I'm going to grab that. Because that unlocks ideas. Okay. And that also means we can grab these two. So we get new cannon. We get more trade. Perfect. So now we're up to 14, 16, 16. Now ideas. We have two military, one diplo. I'm still behind on admin.
And I think that's going to continue at the rate that I'm spreading our empire. So, yeah. I'm thinking we go trade power. We're spreading out to the point where we're dipping our hands in multiple trading nodes. So having more merchants and more trade power is going to be good. So I think we go with trade ideas. Easy decision. Alright, so we have a couple years. Let's put you together. Um, come down here. You go there, join their training. And we're going to do some more drilling. Everyone loves to drill. Also, the mandate for Ming is zero. Wow, that's so bad. I can't really see into their territory right now, but that's really bad for them. <laughs> that's really good for us. For our eventual, uh... Whoa, what's happening up here? Ben Gaul, are you at war? You didn't ask me? At war with Afghanistan, Transoxiana, and Fars. So Afghanistan, oh god. You're having problems with Russia, it looks like. Oh no, that's Delhi. Wait, that war's been going on, hasn't it? Okay. Oh. Drill. Drill. Cool. So we got three drilling armies once again. And then our fourth army is kind of split up right now. Do we have any rebel problems? I mean, not really. Not really. Didn't I destroy you already? Destroy that. Alright, so we got 2300. I'm saving this money up because we want to embrace the other institution. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't spread quite enough yet, but eventually will. So I want to make sure we have enough money to do that. Um, at the same time... We'll try to keep it around 2,000, because I think it's going to be pretty, pretty expensive to upgrade. And it's going to be a while till we get enough admin points to get up to tier 15 anyway, which is what we need to wait for before we can upgrade these two. <sighs> At this point, I really think I need a tier 3 admin guy. So we're going to do it. They're very expensive. But I really need to catch up on our admin. And we're going to be conquering more, so I really need more admin points. Because this conquering is not going to stop. When we can go to War with Delhi, we're going to War with Delhi. Oh yeah, let's upgrade our cannons. 24 months. Two more years of our faster institution spreading. Please get out of my territory. Thank you. How's our manpower limit? 124k, so we still got some time. Our land force limit is going to have been increased by now. 202. Our air is greedy. Well, you greedy little punk. But with our current setup for our armies, we can have like two and a half additional stacks of our composition. Honestly, our composition is probably going to have to start changing. Because we're going to be running into tier 4 fortresses. Which means we're going to need to be running more cannons in our army setup. Uh, we will be taking this. Global trade power plus 20%. Or er, plus 20? 20%. Take that. I really need to get more trade stuff going. We control basically all of this. But this is all wasted. We only earned 14 from here. I wonder if it would be best just to move our... trade node here. Because then we can transfer everything from here down into here. We can transfer from here down into here. And then collect from here. I'm 
probably never gonna have these. I still think we need to wait, though, until we get more of this. What kind of sucks here is that Bengal is just exerting so much power over this. We're starting to catch up a little bit, but they still have most of it. I can upgrade these trading centers. You know, I think I may actually do that. Grab all these things to tier three. Oh, that's Bengal, Jesus. This is mine. Local trade power plus 25, institution spread. Okay, I forgot about the institution spread. That's actually pretty good. So you know what, we're gonna upgrade some of these. I don't really need to upgrade any Gujarat though. I know what I said about the money, and I just spent all of it. I know. I know. I know. But we're spending money to make money. And if I stop drilling, that would save us some money on military. We're spending 51 on military. In theory, we can cut that down. Eh, it's not that big of a drop, though. Where is... Ralasima. That, that sounds like something would be down here. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, These. Of course. Pour that. And state this. Oh, that's so expensive. Holy crap. Oh, I need all the admin points. I wonder if I can actually go to war with Delhi. God, I'm, I'm so behind on stuff. Saura Shatra? Is that what this one is? No. Artillery's cheaper? Okay. Ah, this one. Yes. I need to, I need to state this. Well, I still need to core all that first. I really need admin points. Um, I want some admin points from you. I need their influence to be raised. They would gain 15 influence from this. You know what? Do it. Because that's up to 100. There we go. It's 100 points we didn't have before. And you know what? Grab this. Why not? Demand Diplo Power. Well, no, because that would lower your loyalty too much. So we need to estate those two, and then we need to make this estate. Gosh, dude. Admin points is such a hassle. <laughs> Uh, I think in the first war against Delhi, I'm really going to need to feed everything into Kelpie. I can't afford to state anything else for a long time, man. Baldi! Wherever that is. I think that's over here. Yeah. The Ottomans haven't really spread out as much as I thought they would. At this point. Also, uh, Poland's getting a little stronger. Austria's not that crazy. Denmark's still alive. Russia is... Doing stuff. Oh, right, I've been forgetting to fabricate. I always do this. Fabricate on... Sure. Uh, bring you back. Because, again, we're going to be feeding stuff into Kelpie for the first war. So I don't need you there. So we have two free diplomats. Um, let's set one up with... Well, not even allies. Let's just do... Outraged countries. And then I'll top things off with Bengal.
Winter Truth timer up. Delhi is five years still. We can't take Maywar. I could do that. Sure. I hope you beat Delhi. Delhi up a little bit. All right, so we need to do that. Then we need to state this. So much stuff. Excellent. We need Dipple Power for our ideas. Next one, we'll grab that. There we go. Okay, Ripples are not a thing. How's our professionalism? Ah, oh, it's so good. 74%. Giving us 14 additional percent siege ability and land and fire, or fire and shock damage are increased too. That's so cool. Now I really need my tradition to be up. Like, for real. Also, I forgot that you were mothball. That's cool. We only have one fort anyway. So that's okay. Uh, we can't take this. Not until we get Adam in level 15. Which is not going to be happening anytime soon. Which is why I'm also okay with upgrading our centers of trade. Because we're not going to em embrace that. But we don't we won't need to embrace the new thing for a while. Uh, this is Diplo. We do kind of need some Diplo. So I will grab... I'll just grab the, the tier 2 guy. You won't spend as much money. Uh, you can now come back. You'll go there. And after we get through Afghanistan, oh man, they are so tiny. Um, then we'll cancel our military access with you. I could turn you into a vassal if you liked me more. I'd be willing to do that. Diplo annex you later, and them. <gasps> Age of absolutism. Okay, so now the absolutism mechanics kick in. You have a maximum value of 94. So we can raise this by harsh treatments, increasing our stability, um, decreasing autonomy, plus one per 20 development, and strengthening our government. So hitting this button, which takes military. Yeah, it takes military points and increases our legitimacy by 10. Which we're at minus four right now. All right, well, 96, we have four to go. And then uh, autonomy up by two. So if we increase autonomy, it would lower by two. If we debase our currency, it goes down. If we accept rebel demands, it goes down. If we have parliament being a thing, which is not, so it's fine. Or if we forcibly reduce war exhaustion. So now we really want to hit the harsh treatment button. Which I can't even do on these people yet. Um, I'm assuming absolutism, like, because decreasing autonomy, you can't really do that. Other than through stating, and even that's kind of like a phantom autonomy. I'm assuming just as autonomy is lowered, this will be raised. Maybe there's events that do it. I'm tempted to hit this button, and I think I will, because it will get some absolutism. There we go. So we're going to get some buffs. It's very small at first, but over time, it'll be fine. Uh, Kanada. I'm probably not going to accept any cultures right now, because I need to do our ideas. And I'm also going to be ending this episode here. Okay, so the next episode, I think we go to war with Delhi. We feed them into Kelpie. We're going to work on trying to vassalize Afghanistan. Our Diplo reputation right now is really low because we still have the Annex um, Subjects penalty from annexing Port Bandar. So when that falls off, we'll probably be able to vassalize Afghanistan. So that's what we're doing. Doing that. Of course, finishing off the Vizyar, moving our trade capital down to here, prob probably. And... Yeah. Then just trying to work our way over here to deal with the Ming. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care.